everybody. It's Bronwyn here from Tarot Fever. Um, I've got some extra time today, so I'm going to do another video. Um, this is the Prairie Majesty Oracle. Explore Your Sovereign Nature by Kara Simons and Amy Putney Koenig. Um, this is an Etsy deck, an indie deck that I purchased a few months ago. It ships out of the United States. Um, it's got a very nice, sturdy, buttery feeling box. Now the sun is out, so hopefully I don't get too many shadows. But this deck is absolutely beautiful and it is something very, very special. Um, I haven't seen many reviews of it. This is the inside, the top of the box. I'm just take out the cards. And that's the bottom. And on the inside of the box, I have some more artwork. So it's beautifully presented, absolutely beautifully presented. So here are the cards. This is the back. It's got rose gold gilding. The cards are a beautiful mat. Um, it's very similar to, um, trying to think of similar decks, the Sasurai Beto Tarot, um, the This Might Hurt Tarot, the Super Lunaris. It's that, it's very durable, mat does not stick at all. And it makes a really nice noise when you shuffle it. Okay, so it comes with this guidebook. You've got a table of contents, your intro, um, some spreads which are over here. Now the deck is divided into four major sections. There's the yellow work, or sorry, the yellow do section, the pink no, uh, the blue feel, and the green claim. And then there are four art cards that the sun, the moon, the star, and the sky. And there are keywords in the back of the book. So the categories, um, the yellow do cards inspire active undertaking, whether internal or external, and offer suggestions for how. The pink sections section is the no section. No cards assist with translating intuition into thought, into thought form to harness the power of your conscious mind. The blue field cards teach honoring your emotions without judgment while ushering in more desirable states. And the green claim cards inspire taking back your power by activating and wielding self-authority. So very nice guidebook, it's full color. You get a nice um, two page entry for each card and a little image of, a little version of the image, which is nice for reading it when you don't have the deck with you. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards. So this is the sun card, the moon, the sky, and the star. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more on these cards. Maybe that's too much. All right, so each card you have like an active word at the bottom describing the card. You've got a little phrase at the top. So am I ready to be seen? The bald eagle, soar. What am I integrating? Beaver, build.
Love this little deer mouse. Heard the noises in the background. That's my golden retriever. She's always making some sort of noise. Oh, the badger, my favorite. I will link um, the Etsy shop in the description box if anyone is interested in purchasing this deck. It's a very special oracle. It has a different style of artwork and um, the quality is there. The guidebook is great and I like the way it's divided into the four sections. I find it very helpful. And finally, clear the striped skunk. What kind of release would protect clarity in my space? So there you have it. That's the Prairie Majesty Oracle. Shuffles like a dream. Makes that beautiful sound. Um, the card size, they're standard Oracle card size. S similar to like a rock pool or a hay house deck. And I'll give it a quick ruffle shuffle. I will look up the bald eagle in the book and open the page in the book and you can pause it and read it if you'd like. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.